Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna talk about reviewing our code before we push our code to production. And that is because we are using a lot of AI these days to generate our code. And I know there are some holdouts out there that don't wanna use AI, I understand, but I just think this is where it's going. It's not gonna completely replace us for now, but it will help us be more productive because a lot of code can be quickly scaffolded by AI. And I think our role as human developers will become more of a reviewer type of role so that we review the code that the agent has generated. Right, so here in Cursor, for example, right, we can uh, prompt the agent to make all sorts of changes and it's going to go ahead and generate a lot of code. So I have generated some code in this app, um, right? So I have a Next.js app here and here for the Git tab, I can actually see that it made a bunch of changes. And if you're using these agent modes, you, you can see that they're quite eager, they're quite uh, trigger happy, so to speak, uh, to you know do a bunch of code changes. More and more of my time is basically reviewing the code that it, that it has generated. So. You can see it has, for example, changed a bunch of things here. Um, you can see here it has added something. And this was just from one or two uh, prompts that I, I asked it to do. So um, it's actually very, very comprehensively uh, changing my code in my app. So you have to keep a pretty close eye on what it's changing. So I made these changes on a different branch. So actually I'm on a different branch here, the app improvements branch. Before I merge this into the main branch, before I make a pull request and so on, I wanna go through a review step where I really hone in on the changes that it made and decrease the likelihood that there are bugs or other issues in the code. So I could manually do that, but actually, I've actually really, really enjoyed working with CodeRabbit AI. Yes, they are also today's sponsor, but I generally believe that it's a great tool because it helps you review a lot of that code much faster and it already works in the tools that you are using. So you don't have to go into some other dashboard or whatever. It's already on GitHub, but also these days they have it in the IDE itself. So if I click here, you can see that they are already in Visual Studio Code, in Cursor, in Windsor. So I went ahead and actually installed this as an extension here in uh, Cursor actually, but works very similarly in Visual Studio Code, right? And in the install is also easy. All of this is easy. So it's not like, oh, I have to set up a completely different tool. It's it's literally a few clicks. And now what I can do is I made a bunch of changes. So, so the code has been changed. Now I wanna go through that review process. I can go to that extension. So here it will add the code rabbit extension. Let me actually pin it. I'm going to go to the CodeRabbit extension, it's the very similar in Visual Studio Code. You can see that it knows that I wanna merge this app improvement uh, branch into the main branch, okay? But I'm going to actually review the changes first. We can actually also review the committed changes or all changes. Let's just go ahead and review all changes. Just amazing what's gonna happen. Uh, it's just going to do a very thorough inspection essentially of our changes. And yeah, it actually caught some really subtle things as well that I maybe would have missed if I would do it myself. So basically it will go through all of these files that have been changed. Gonna take a look at the divs essentially. So for now, I'm basically using this uh, to help my review uh, step. So I don't completely, of course we cannot shut off our brains and, and not do anything ourselves, but with these AI tools, we're generating AI code and now we also have an AI tool that can review the code. Yeah, both the generating and the reviewing steps are not completely replacing us, but they can take a lot of the grunt work out of doing it ourselves. That's basically how I view these AI tools. If they can take over 80% of my, of my uh, work that is really like grunt type of work, I would be pretty happy. So I can focus more on really the creative tasks and where I, as a human developer, add the most value. All right, so you can see it's starting to go through some of these files. I can just grab a cup of coffee or something and just wait a few minutes as it goes through the files. It actually already found an issue here in uh, this one, and I can quickly see the issue. So uh, we'll we'll take a close look at it in a second. So I like that it's file by file. It's a very clean overview here, and looks like it's uh, about finished now. You can see it has uh, left a comment here. So now it's finished with the review and we can go through it uh, file by file here. So if I open up this one, it found an issue here, okay? Now you can see when I click on that, it actually opens up the file and also here my, uh, actually a comments view here next to the terminal. So it will show you the comments here, but what I really like is that it's in code here. So here we can see a potential issue in the actual code. We see the comment directly below the code where there is the issue. So what is the issue here? Yeah, so I forgot to uncomment this part Right, so I was just testing something 
And this is actually not a problem caused by AI. This is very common with you as a developer. You're going to comment some things out sometimes to quickly check something during development. And then when you push to production, you forgot to uh, comment it back in, for example. Right. So these typical human developer mistakes. So great catch here. I can manually change it, manually fix it. Here's the cool part. They actually immediately provide the suggested fix here as well. So I only have to click on accept the fix, right? So now I can save there. You can see we get a check mark here. Let's continue to the other file here. There was another issue here. So here it found an issue where I don't have proper error handling, especially in the beginning of a project, we are quickly you know, scaffolding an app. And so we may forget to make it more robust, right? So this is a good catch for making our app more robust. One click accept a more robust set of functions here. All right, so those were some pretty critical issues, but sometimes it also finds more, um, I would say more, more like nice to have suggestions. So here it would suggest to add uh, a signal here with a timeout and let's see what else so these other issues you can see it's a gray color and um, this is actually a really good catch so here as well i was testing something during development i was manually uh, increasing the the loading time so i could see the loading states in my app right so this is what you do sometimes as a human developer just just like commenting out some code and also sometimes just deliberately adding some loading time so you can view the loading state properly. And then when we push to production, of course, we do not want to, we do not unnecessarily want to add loading time to our app. So this is a great catch. Of course, we do want to remove it. So well done to uh, Code Rabbit there. Okay, so um, here's some uh, database schema related issues. Um, you know, if you're building full stack apps and you're more of a front end developer and you don't feel as comfortable with uh, the database and the schemas around it, it's just really great to have like an almost, I would say senior level developer looking over your shoulder and just up coming up with some suggestions here. So here, so this may, be even more of a value add for you if you uh, are reviewing some things that are not really your strongest uh, suits. All right, so um, here's another good suggestion about, all right, so here it makes a suggestion for validation and sanitization. This is actually a really important issue, of course, if we, if we are adding things to our database and we're getting that data from the outside world, we absolutely have to validate and sanitize the data. So this is a great catch. This is probably a, an important catch. Uh, security related issues are probably the priority, right? So uh, anything that can help you uh, decrease the likelihood that security issues will be pushed to production, I think is a major win. So now I'm going through these issues one by one, right? They actually have fix all issues. So we can just select the file. So actually I already accepted the other three, but let's just say we'll go ahead with these other three as well. It will actually automatically uh, create this prompt for the agent to actually fix it on my behalf. So I think it's really nice that it has an integration here with my AI agent. Yeah, really clever actually, so well done to the CodeRabbit team, uh, right? So you can you can double check if what you get here is what you want, but ultimately we can just hand off that task of fixing those issues to the agent. So you can see this is really a futuristic AI driven workflow for a developer. I think this is where it's going. We're going to have an AI agent here on, on one side of the screen, basically generating the code and we're going to have I believe some kind of reviewer type of AI that will help you review the changes. Ultimately, we're not going to be completely replaced, but a lot of the grunt work will be taken out of our work, I think. Yeah, I think the, the sooner you pick up on these tools and you become acquainted with them, I think the better. And of course, what I'm showing you here is quite a, you know, wide ranging set of issues that I have in my app. In practice, if you already have a more developed app that is already a little bit more sophisticated, you would probably pinpoint more on one specific issue at a time, right? So you would generate some code for a particular issue and you would just review that particular uh, change or small set of changes. It's not going to be as overwhelming for you to review and to, and to uh, make sure it's robust. Okay, so sometimes we also have to allow it to do certain things like uh, run a terminal command or uh, install package or something like that. All right, so now it has uh, made a bunch of changes again. So we still have a bunch of changes. Let me actually just quickly review uh, all the changes again. So I'm gonna start a new review process here. All right, so it came up with one issue here and it's about also adding the expiry date for these log entries, which makes total sense. So nice catch here as well. 
All right, now when you actually commit, it will also prompt you to start a review. So you may also want to do it just at the point of committing. Uh, before that, it's also possible. So I really like CodeRabbit, it's super powerful. We can integrate it on GitHub as well. I have other videos with CodeRabbit if you want to see a complete setup. So let me quickly show you here in the dashboard, I can connect my rep repositories to there. And what I really like, one of my favorite features is that over time, it actually builds up learning. So it's it starts to understand the type of style that you want. It, picks up a lot of subtle things actually. So then the next time a situation like that occurs, it already knows what you want. So you can see I've been playing around with some other repos and it has detected, for example, I only want to use the zinc color shade from Tailwind CSS in the app. So then if it detects in the code during a review that I was using the gray palette or the blue palette, it will actually pick up on that and suggest the zinc uh, Tailwind CSS class. So this actually adds a lot of sophistication to the tool. Now, if you're doing issue tracking in some of these tools, you can actually connect to that here. So it has even more context. And so, yeah, I think it's a great tool. It's been one of the tools that I'm trying to implement in my workflows together with the AI agents for generating codes. I think it's a great combination. So I would say check them out. You can find a link in the description. In any case, thank you for watching. Hope it helps you out with your workflow. Have a nice day and I hope to see you in the next one.